Hi, we're going to look at the difference between flower buds and vegetative buds in pear trees. This tree is called Hessel. It's a Yorkshire pear. It's extremely hardy and it was used in Victorian orchards as a windbreak. And as you can see on this tree, we've got these side shoots, which are called feathers, which are full of these little leaf buds, very clearly emerging from the mesh here. And I'm leaving them on for now because they'll thicken up the stem and later on in the summer, perhaps next winter, I'll cut them off once we've driven the growth upwards. And up here you can see the flower buds, which have just opening, and interestingly, there are leaves opening at the same time. And above that, there are more leaf buds, and then this leader bud in the middle, which is gonna give us our height. So that's the main thing I want to promote, is this bud here to drive the tree upwards. Let's go and have a look at another tree. So here we are at Pitmaston Duchess, which is a really large Victorian cooking and eating pear, and it also makes a fantastic juice. Look at the size of these flower buds. These are going to give you large fruits, and you can see where they are. And just above, there are leaf buds, which will carry on forming branches. These are also side leaf buds. You can see that's a leaf bud. So all of those will grow out and give us new growth. But the main stem, the leader in the middle, which I'm particularly keen to encourage, is also starting to make these, which are in the future will become branches. You can see how it goes all the way up. Short jointed growth, calcium rich growth, um, high carbon, very hardy wood.